What is desired in a man is loving kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. Proverbs chapter 19 verses 22. Hello beautiful family. Warmest welcome back again to the Lovey Statch channel. Thank you so much for coming back. You know what? We are in the new year. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and there's lots of anniversaries up and coming, birthday celebration. And I thought of sharing this exotic, delicious and romantic pineapple shrimp fried rice which is going to be paired with this delicious pan seared salmon so please be sure to take a seat grab your popcorn and let's whip this together I love to start off by cooking my turmeric and curry rice. Here I have 500 grams of yasmin long grain rice and a tablespoon each of curry powder, turmeric powder, chicken seasoning, a teaspoon of salt, some chopped onions, about two tablespoonful of cooking olive oil. So I will go ahead and add my oil in my pot and add my chopped onions and Afterwards, I will add my curry powder and turmeric powder and the chicken seasoning as well. After all the seasoning have been added, I'll go ahead and saute it for about three minutes on a very low medium heat and then add my washed rice, okay? It is such a quick one, no time to waste at all. Once everything is well mixed together, I will then introduce the salt here and I will add about half cup of water, enough to cover the rice and then give it a good time, about 25 minutes for it to cook perfectly. voila 25 minutes later our rice is perfectly cooked and it's looking super super fluffy so all that i will do here is to put it on a tray or an open space just so that it will be able to cool down before i start with the frying process okay i just do not want it to go bad easily all right this is one of the things that you need to do just so that your fried rice does not go bad think you can see this can so it's one of my favorite things ever the rice smells so good so once that is cooling down i'll go ahead and prep my pineapple and all the vegetables that i will be using to fry my rice okay and since the rice is going to be served in this pineapple skin or shell it, and this were just so tiny so i had to use two pineapples to make this look better okay so if you have the chance or if you chance on bigger pineapple i think you need just one of it okay so i'm going ahead to just take out the fruit from this and make sure it is well clean inside and that is what i'll be using okay and the juices that comes is very very important we'll sprinkle a little bit on the pineapple as well and we do not need too much of that okay we just need about two tablespoons of pineapple juice and that is all that we will be adding to the fried rice okay right now i have gotten my shell and i'm super super happy about it okay so the fruit is going to be in the fridge i'll be using it for some peanut colada i will share the recipe on instagram so please be sure to follow me there okay <laughs> so it's now time for us to prep and chop all our vegetables that we will need for this fried rice here i use the three wise bell peppers i use the orange red and green bell peppers and i will be also needing some carrots this time around i decided to grate a carrot instead because you know time's sake <laughs> I cannot be cutting the carrots as well so I just grated them like this it's absolutely beautiful to actually grate your carrots right <laughs> so yes what that was out of the way I had to chop some 
red onions and some french beans and spring onions to that i have my shrimps and some salmon which i will list everything down below in the description box do not worry okay and these are some seasoning and of course my rice which has been cooled down and the almighty pineapple that we got is this okay we're going to use a little bit of it that is all family and of course some oil salt and some eggs which i absolutely forgot to show here but we will be needing some eggs as well time for me to season my seafood i went ahead to add some garlic powder all purple seasoning and some shrimp powder as well simple as that okay i did not want to disturb this salmon and the uh, shrimps with lots of seasoning okay but you do you go girl <laughs> so right now it's time for me to also stir fry the shrimps this is so hard for me because i am such a big fan of shrimps and stir frying this i just wanted to eat them all i to stir fry this for about three minutes and this took me a lot of self-control not to eat them all <laughs> after sauteing this for about two minutes i'll go ahead and just crush one clove of garlic i really love garlic in my shrimp and any seafood that i make it's so so good in here so three minutes came i just take them out i would take the opportunity to scramble my eggs because this oil in here has been very very much seasoning and it's going to be so good on my eggs <laughs> so i scramble three eggs here okay in case that you want to know but don't worry everything will be listed down below with the right quantity okay so once the scramble eggs is being done i'll just go ahead and put it in the bowl and i'll start finally <laughs> with the frying process So to begin with a real frying process, I added into my frying pan two, about two tablespoons of the cooking olive oil, my onions and some fresh garlic. Oh my goodness, the touch of the garlic is just everything. And right from the beginning, I'll add a tablespoon of the pineapple chunks and also a tablespoon of the juice, okay? That is all that you need in your fried rice, okay? That sweetness, it's going to make this so, so, so great. And I also went ahead to add my bell pepper. Let's make sure that everything is well mixed and incorporated well together. So after that, I will just sprinkle some of my powder on top just for seasoning and taste, okay? So once that has been sauteing for about three minutes, I will then go ahead and introduce my grated carrots family we are almost there okay i just want to thank you for watching right till this far thank you so much so once the carrots goes in i'll go ahead and add my muggy seasoning this is the liquid form okay? and voila now our beautiful and colorful rice is going in right now my kitchen smells amazing and i'm loving it i'm so so much loving it i'll just go ahead and mix it all together be please take note that you do not add all the rice at once you can divide it into two three just so that you can be able to mix them well together okay so so good <laughs> So 
so now that the rice has been mixed well together i'll now go in with my seasoning okay this seasoning is what i use in every fried rice recipe that i create so first i added a tablespoon of oyster sauce two tablespoons of dark soy sauce you don't want it to be too much okay and some maggi seasoning the leftover is what i added here and mix everything together and then reintroduce your shrimps and their scrambled eggs okay so good it smells so so great family you need to try it that pineapple brought extra extra sweetness that i think i was missing in all my fried rice recipe it is so so good and amazing so the very last ingredient that we will be adding to our fried rice is going to be our spring onions for that extra crunch and we will be so done with our pineapple fried rice is so so ready but before we go ahead and served from the pictures you know that i paired it with this delicious and so 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 great salmon recipe which i am sharing now okay so for the salmon i'll go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of some cooking olive oil and then and then i will be dropping the salmon in one after the other gently with so much love <laughs> okay those salmon were looking so so good okay so i will put everything in this oil and also i'll be adding my lemon just so that it reduces that fishy smell that the salmon brings okay <laughs> when i add it i just go ahead and cover it and allow it to saute for about three to five minutes on each side the five minutes of sauteing on the other side i'm going ahead to flip it okay and i'm going to also take out the lemon from this all right and still i just need to build up more of the flavors and i just want it to be intensively so good <laughs> so i crushed about two cloves of garlic here again and added about half a tablespoon of some soy sauce i use the dark soy sauce so if you're using the light one you can use a full tablespoon of it and i would just allow it to slowly simmer through and i also came in with half a tablespoon of honey yes for some sweet cake here as well and also some habanero pepper for that hot and spicy cake let me tell you something this salmon was so so tasty and so so delicious i'll cover it for the next five minutes and we should be done it looks absolutely delicious voila <laughs> We are done with our beautiful pineapple shrimp fried rice and our salmon is also done. It's now time for us to plate. What do you think? Of course, we will be plating it in our beautiful pineapple skin. Oh goodness, it's so, so good. Like five star quality Ankasa. <laughs> It was absolutely great and we just bond with this. As for the salad, I also paired it with some potato salad. It was so good and not forgetting some of the green chili sauce. And I have recently shared this green chili sauce recipe. I will link it right here just in case you missed the show, okay? A little bit of lovely, simple table settings and it was just the top notch. <laughs> Thank you so very much, family, for watching right till the end. I really, really appreciate your time. Please do not forget to like the video, share to few friends and family. And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Lovia from Lovey Touch. My main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. So please be sure to subscribe and join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and just know that you are so so beautiful just the way you are see you in my next one bye